Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Idea. Here we make tutorials on topics that might be helpful to you in one way or the other. And today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to set a server region for your Discord. So for example, sometimes you might have international friends and you know, when that happens, so the normal thing about Discord is whenever I join a server, it's going to connect me to the closest, um, whenever I join a voice channel, it's going to connect me to the closest server. So right now, as you can see, my ping is 39. That's pretty low. That means I'm probably connected to a server in India. Now, for example, not everyone has great ping in India, especially you not know, because of the routing reasons. And for which I want to make sure everyone has a proper connection. So I want to, you know, put my server for for seas, as in uh, Singapore or you know Japan, because those got, those area has a relatively lower ping for a lot of people. Singapore especially has a very low ping. So in order to do that, first of all, you got to make sure you're one of the admins, which I am on this server. And then you want to go um, hover over your um, voice channel name and you want to press on edit channel. Once you press on edit channel over here, you can all obviously do a lot of changing. You can change your bit rate and all that. But, but you don't, it really depends on if you want to mess around with those settings or not. And you can also set a user limit, so if only one user can join or two users can join, it's all up to you. Or basically, normally it's infinite, but this is what we want, the region override. So it's automatic, automatic right now because it will connect me, as I said, to the closest region, uh, to the closest uh, Discord server. I want to make sure I want to join in Singapore, so I want to press on Singapore and then I want to press on Save Changes. Once I press on Save Changes, as you can see, my server has changed, I get 49 ping now. That's because I'm connected to Singapore. So I hope this helped you guys uh, regarding your voice channel issues. If this video did help you, please drop a like. And if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.